Hello. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley. Hope you're all doing well. For the next hour, we'll be having a conversation class. You can practice your English speaking. I'll be asking you guys to talk about the beach. It's summertime and many of us like to go to the beach in the summer. So we'll be practicing descriptions. Uh, I want to ask uh, students about the their favorite beach, the best place maybe in their country to go to the beach. Uh, describe it to me. Describe what you do there. So we'll be practicing description and of course opinion because you're talking about what in your opinion is the favorite beach, favorite place to go. Uh, hello, I'm going to guess Anne. Is it Anne? Yeah, hello, <laughs> it's Anne. Hi Anne, how are you today? Hi, oh, I'm great, thank you. It's uh, morning in my country. So I'm well, good morning. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. How's the weather? Oh, uh, it is raining. So there is no any beach today. <laughs> no beach today. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's your, what's your have you been to the beach this summer? And uh, yes, I live near the beach. You do? Really? Yeah. I'm I city situated near the Black Sea. And Okay. And are there beaches near the city? Yeah. Uh, right in the city? Uh, in the uh, city where I live, uh, uh, my, ha my house is situated uh, in uh, 20 minutes from the sea. Uh, and my husband's parents live uh, in five minutes from the sea. So. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. I have a great opportunity to Very cool. go to the beach. Yeah. Okay, uh, well that's awesome. It's it's not polluted. I mean, uh, I live in the Philippines, and Manila has beaches, but believe me, you unless you have a burning desire to become ill, <laughs> you would not go to the beach to hang out. Definitely no, not. No, that's okay. Oh really? Uh, yeah. That's good. Um. You know, I could say the same thing. I wouldn't go swimming in Boston Harbor either if you paid me a million dollars. It's like a very polluted and a, not something you would do. All right, uh, let me say hi to some other people. Is this Farouk or Farouk's son? Hello, hello. Farouk. Uh, yes. Hi, how are you today? How are you? Thank you very much. And you? Uh, I'm doing oh, I'm doing well. Thank you. How is the weather in Manila? Rain, rain. Rain, rain. A little <laughs> more rain and then some more rain. It's you have been a rain man there. Yeah, it's rainy season here, so <laughs> it, it rains every day. Sometimes it rains all day long. Sometimes it just rains very severely. Thunderstorms in the afternoon. But one way or the other, it's going to rain every day. <laughs> but, but it is beautiful, I think. Well, it, I just want to sleep. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, our, our topic today is going to the beach. And, and actually, in Philippines, beach time is April and May. Those are the hottest months. And it's sunny every day. And many people leave the cities and go out to the countryside and go to the beach. Uh, Farouk, where are you from again? I, I forgot. Oh, I am from Turkey. Uh, wow, okay. But now uh, I live in New Hampshire, in Manchester. Oh, right, that's United right. Uh, of course. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I near forgot. to Vermont, to your... <laughs> where I'm from, near Vermont, <laughs> right. From, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's silly me. I'd like to remind you, Hampton Beach, we were there last week weekend. <laughs> well, you were? Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a nice beach. That's all right. But Farouk, would you swim in Boston Harbor? <laughs> Not at all. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 
Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You know what I'm talking about. If you if you put if you put a grass, it would uh, die uh, <laughs> eventually after five minutes. <laughs> yeah. In the harbor. True. Yeah, it's nothing so sad as a polluted beach. I think. Uh, I I don't know. There's something very depressing about a beach that's polluted. Um, Mustafa, how are you today? Hi, this uh, fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, Mustafa, now yeah. where you live, there are some beautiful beaches, aren't there? Yeah, we have, and we have rivers also. Okay. What is the most beautiful beach in your country, if you could recommend? Uh, I don't One. know, because I visited beach in other country, not in my country. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is the most beautiful beach you've ever been to in your life? Uh, there are a nice beach in Turkey. It's in Kobros. It's nice. It was nice. Okay. Uh, also, there are nice beach in Aden. It's also, it's so nice. I don't remember because I was a child and... Mm -hmm. From that time, I didn't go to beach again. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, two things. You should say there is a nice beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's singular. Okay. There is a nice beach in Otto. And I haven't been there since I was a child. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, Selma. Hi, Selma. Ooh, new picture. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Selma, can you tell me what is the most beautiful beach you've ever been to? Uh, the most stunning beach I've uh, ever been to was uh, Tixert. It's a famous beach here in my country. It's in northern east of Algeria. Um, the water is uh, blue and it's not uh, it's not that crowded and also uh, it, uh, it's, uh, it's situated next to some mountains so it's not just a beach around water and beach it's uh, it's surrounded uh, with some um, mountains, and you can see uh, when you, uh, where you can see some monkeys. Oh, really? Small monkeys, yes, teacher. <laughs> That's not. Those are not two things I normally think of together. Beach, monkeys, yeah. monkeys, <laughs> beach. Yes, so they the are white monkeys. But we are not allowed to give them some, to give them food, ah, because please. they get used to that and they yeah. they bother the people there. Ah, okay. <laughs> Do the monkeys ever go to the beach? Well, actually, they walk along the beach, <laughs> but they've never seen a monkey swimming. So, they can monkeys nice. swim? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Seriously, yeah. anyone in the class, does anybody know, any of you guys, can monkeys swim? Yes. Yes? Mustafa, yes. they can? Yes, they can. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. I, you know, I remember the Japanese snow monkeys like to hang out in the water because uh, in the mountains they have hot springs. And so the snow monkeys in the winter sort of hang out in the in the hot tub. <laughs> okay, I remember that. Uh, okay, Vinny, how about you? Have you been to the beach this summer? I actually, it's winter <laughs> here. Oh yeah, less, <laughs> right, <less>. right. <laughs> forget, I always forget. <laughs> okay, have you been to the beach this winter? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Joking. Okay. <laughs> well, what's the best beach you've ever been to? 
Um, actually, uh, in Brazil, I haven't gone to many beaches. Is that right to say? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, I usually go uh, south, so there is uh, some uh, nice beaches in south. And there is also a northwest, northwest, yeah. Mm -hmm. Northwest. And also Rio de Janeiro is very famous. Yeah. But so, actually, uh, I think uh, the nicest beach I have been to uh, mm -hmm. was in New Zealand. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was very nice, and it was summer. <laughs> What what was it like? I, I'm not familiar with the beaches in New Zealand. Can you describe it a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I can try. <laughs> um, there was like uh, two kind of Alps uh, covered by trees, and then in the between these Alps there were the sand and the water. So then you could uh, go up these Alps, and then you have the view of the the beach and the sand and the other the another Alp. So it's quite nice. Okay, you're saying, I think you're saying like Alps. Are you saying Alps? No, I, I, can, I don't. I don't know the name, but it's probably a hill. Oh, okay. Or a mountain. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference actually. But I think Alps usually have snow at the top, right? Well, yeah, and then they're specific, you know, you have that. So, so it's not, there are no Alps there. <laughs> right. Yeah, at this beach. In Europe. Okay. Ah, okay, all right. So, yeah, hill, mountain, uh, usually just a hill is like a baby mountain, a small mountain. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, there, there are hills. Yeah. Okay, so there are hills, and there's a bay between the hills. So the the hills kind of go out like this, like my hands. Yeah. And then there's water in between. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And as well. Okay, so it, it, that's a, a bay. Um, a bay that's protected by coral or something. A small one is called a lagoon. A bay can be very, very big. It can be enormous, actually, but a lagoon is very, very small and usually protected from waves. Uh, yeah, actually, Vinny, it's a bay. Okay, it's a bay. All right. Yeah. And, uh, Vinny, what, what did you do there? Uh, actually, it was a bit uh, sad <laughs> because I was with two friends and both those both those two friends speak French, so I was like the uh, excluded, <laughs> and we had uh, bikes. Then we, we it's it's actually this beach is in uh, an island. Uh -huh. and they were you were we were cycling there, but okay. I'm not so I'm not so fit, so and I I I couldn't uh, cycle so uh, very well, and they could, so they uh -huh. were going they were. Always ahead of me, <laughs> and I okay. couldn't uh, follow them. But then, when we, at this beach, we stopped a bit to take a rest, to huh. rest a bit. And then I, I go, I went up this uh, hill, and uh, there was like a seat. And then I, I stayed there for uh, about half an hour, just uh, enjoying the view. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So why was it sad? <laughs> I, I missed the sad no, part. I, I thought you were going I to actually, tell me your friends drowned or something. <laughs> were <laughs> eaten by a shark. <laughs> no, actually that was the uh, happiest moment of that day. Because uh, after that I got lost twice <laughs> in this island. <laughs> oh my. And then I... I, I, I I uh, walked a lot and uh, cycled a lot, and then if uh, I just could, I, I just could go back home because uh, one guy gave me a ride. Mm -hmm. Actually, two guys uh, gave me a ride, 
Mm -hmm. But I was really tired and I was lost and I had no map and uh, <laughs> it was a bit <laughs> complicated. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A map is a good thing to have when you're traveling <laughs> in another country. Yeah. No doubt, or at least GPS or something. Yeah, actually I had one but there were not so many details. <laughs> there mm. were just the uh, main roads. Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Alberto. Hey, Alberto. How have you oh. been? Hi. Hi. Hey. Good to, Good to see you again, too. Okay. Uh, Alberto, what's your, what's your favorite beach? All-time favorite beach? Well, really, really, I don't like beaches. You don't? <laughs> oh, really? No, Why not? because... Because of the sun, is uh, hmm. it's dirty, it's uh, bad. It's uh, <laughs> I I I usually go to to the beach uh, well twice or three times a, a year, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, but I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but you go. It's, it's true. <laughs> uh, no, but I have uh, some beaches uh, here collected. Uh, because of the of the beauty, uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, in the Basque Country we have uh, some beaches. There are uh, small beaches because of the mountains uh, near the, the beach, but we have uh, some beaches uh, that are uh, used by the the surfers, the ah. people who like surf. Yeah. Yeah. People who like to famous. surf. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are famous for for these people um, because of the uh, of the waves and the the left wave and the right wave. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know the <laughs> I don't know the the subject, but uh, but I I have heard it. Um, and well. Um, there are no beaches, but uh, but uh, because uh, they are small, but uh, but they are pretty too. Oh, I, I'm looking at your pictures. They, they looks nice to me. Yeah. I put it uh, the Lida Beach. That is uh, one of the beauties uh, of the be of the most beautiful uh, beaches in in the Basque Country. Uh, it is near from Sukarriata, another beach who is famous by, because of the of the wave for the for the surfers. Uh -huh. And yeah, but the, uh, there are uh, people who who come from Australia, from the States, from from Europe to to. Practice uh, surf. Uh, I think ah. the, the surf is practicing uh, to, uh -huh. to play surfing or to practice surfing in in Sukarrieta. <coughs> Sukarrieta, Mundaka. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. All of these. Okay. Uh, you you uh you, normally we don't say play surfing. You you go surfing. So go they go. The they go map. surfing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and uh. Describing location, we usually say near to. It's near uh -huh. to something else, not near from. Okay. Near to them. All right, all right. Can you surf? Alberto? Can you surf? Yes, yes. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I see a derm, but, uh, but, but uh, I don't, I don't get you know, have, have you ever tried? No, 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 never, never. Uh, never once, uh, years ago, uh, there were a, a colleague uh, who who said to me, uh, said to me to to learn, but but I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's thank too you. hard for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna move on to to Anne. You guys, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm having I'm enjoying checking out these uh, pictures. So you guys, any of you guys want to throw up a link to a bunch of pictures? That's kind of cool. I, I like it. Nice. And speaking of which, Anne, uh, where's this beach in India? It looks like. 
that you uh, posted? Yeah, it is in India, uh, Kerala state. Uh -huh. it was, I really enjoy this um, beach. Oh, sorry, I just closed my window because of auto noise. Uh huh. That's okay. So. Yeah. Are you still there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, what kind of activities did you do you do when you're at the beach? I see there's some people. I don't know what they're doing. Parasailing and uh, some people eating. There's some nice fish there to eat, and there's somebody jumping in the air. I don't know what they're doing. Riding an elephant. No. I don't know. <laughs> no, unfortunately, we didn't uh, uh, something like this. But, uh, to, actually, I uh, don't like only to lay on the beach. Mm. Uh -huh. But we uh, we found uh, uh, internet Wi-Fi internet in this beach, so I can stay there <laughs> a lot of time, uh, and it wasn't boring. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, the ocean in this beach has a, a great, really big waves, uh -huh. uh, and there are a lot of uh, surf surfers. But unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Uh, I have never surfed, and I don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we only uh, laid on this beach and s swim uh, in the ocean. Okay. Uh, have you ever have you ever been snorkeling or scuba diving? Yeah, uh, we have been snorkeling in Red Sea in Egypt. Um, the really, oh, really cool. World. Uh, underwater world, uh, a lot of uh, colorful fish, mm -hmm. cool. and uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, it is difficult to snorkeling in ocean because of great uh, waves. Yeah, well, yeah, it depends where you are. Were there? R Red, yeah, Red Sea is much better for snorkeling. It is uh, okay. Um, excuse my ignorance, but Red Sea, are there? Are there coral reefs or or no? Uh, there are you know there are a lot of corals. Yeah. Oh, there is. Yeah, oh, and okay. uh, uh, there are uh, one of the most uh, uh, the famous uh, places uh, in between divers uh, near the Dahab city, Dahab town, I think. Uh, okay. And, uh, uh, it calls a blue hole something like this, and a lot of divers uh, came ah. uh, come here to snorkeling and to dive. Ah, okay. I think I've heard of that before. All right, now now that you mention that, I think I I, rec I recognize that name. Ah, interesting. Uh, okay, uh, Farouk, what, what do you like to do when you go to the beach? What kind of a uh, Oh, actually, first I should ask you about your pictures here. Well, yeah, what I am I? I? Wow, the water pictures actually for some of the beach from Turkey and 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 the the most uh, beautiful one I think uh, there should be uh, the uh, golden golden sand uh, in near uh, near uh, Marmaris in Turkey. And, uh, it has it has a unique sand. It has a unique place. Actually, it is uh, uh, like a semi islands uh, in in a bay, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you don't allow to go in to this beach with your sandals or with your shoes. And you should uh, have uh, you should you should clean your uh, your uh, foot in order to go in. And after you uh, leave there. Uh, you can't take any any sands out of the beach. And, uh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, wow, uh, that's, and that's very interesting. Yeah, it has it has a unique sand actually. The the sand is very uh, valuable uh, there, and uh, and it, uh, there is no there is there is no uh, machine or cars allowed in these near near these beaches. Uh, like 50 kilometers away from from the beaches, you should go 
uh, to you should uh, leave your cars and uh, after that you should take a, 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 a 50 meter uh, I mentioned one kilometer I think it should be one kilometer not 50 sorry and, then, uh -huh. and you should you should walk uh, into these beaches and there is no no uh, actually uh, houses or hotels near the beaches that sounds very very cool yeah uh, what's it called again golden golden sand golden sand uh, yeah. okay well that's easy enough to remember is the sand really golden oh gold? it, it's uh, it, it resembles to gold I mean uh, yeah gold color I mean yeah yeah gold color yeah I, I would assume it's not actual gold <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> or it wouldn't still be there uh, yeah and people yeah. would be figuring out how to keep sand in between their toes when they left the beach <laughs> yeah I uh, one thing I notice in the pictures I which I've just forgotten is how blue the waters are uh, in the Mediterranean yeah. uh, as your yeah. waters bright blue waters uh, and that ladies and gentlemen is what we call the this color azure azure um, Wow. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. I've been to Greece, and I've been to some of the islands, Crete and Santorini and Afia. Yeah. Beautiful beaches there, and I, I remember looking at the pictures really gives me a, a good memory about the, how very clean, and you could see so far down, and the water was amazing, so clear. And, uh, yeah. uh, you know, if you uh, when you when you go through these lines, actually through these shores, and, uh, you you can see like a thousand beaches, different thousand beaches in in a in a 100 kilometers uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, distance, and you wow. uh, and there there is there is a lot of uh, hotels also on the, on the seashore. And uh, and they are they are just uh, allow the government just allow the uh, f four or five star hotels to uh, build there to ah. uh, not to uh, pollute all all the seashores or all the other places. Yeah, it in looks, the seashores, it looks very clean, nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's why Turkey is the second uh, biggest tourist destinations in uh, in Europe, I think. Well, looking at the pictures makes me want to go there. Actually, <laughs> seriously, I, I didn't. I didn't really. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it, or I don't know. Thanks for sharing that, and thanks for telling us a little about it. Very interesting. Thank you. But, but, uh, uh, can I ask? Uh, yeah, please. Can... Yes, oh, please. Uh, Alberto. Uh, Faruk. Uh, uh, in these beaches, uh, are there many many theories in summer, or, or are they alone? What What do you mean by theories? Are, are there Tourists. Are there many many people? Tourists? Are there many people in people? these uh, beaches in summer, or or not? Oh, actually, uh, these these beaches are full for all seasons, uh, but the peak time is uh, starts on May. And it ends uh, on, until November, I think. Yeah. The, the peak times okay. of the season. Yeah, there, there are full of people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what's 30, 30, million, <laughs> 30 million tourists every every year come yeah. to Turkey. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, Farouk, is there? Do they have off-season rates? I mean, you might not know the answer, but I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you uh, if you want to go, actually, especially the uh, uh, Scandinavian countries, uh, tourists come to Turkey uh, around uh, May, mm -hmm. and and uh, and also in in fall uh, around uh, September to uh, November. These time, these uh, seasons are these months are very uh, have very really reasonable prices and. And and uh, it it is so uh, cheap than other places in in other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. I can I can say you can. Uh, I I met one of the British uh, 
British uh, pensioners. He was like 70, 75 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me that he spent a uh, whole, uh, whole uh, summer in Antalya uh, uh, just uh, instead of uh, paying his rent uh, in, in, in England. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. I see. That's now you're talking. Now you're talking. That's what I like to do. When I was back in the United States, I used to go to Jamaica. I, I don't know. I've been six, eight, maybe eight times. And I, I preferred. I think where Alberto was headed here. I prefer. Of course, you can go to the big resorts and you can go to the popular tourist beaches. I prefer going to a tiny little fishing village where I'm the only white guy in the entire <laughs> village yeah. renting a little cottage for almost nothing for peanuts yeah. and having my own little beach there I, I don't care it's not perfect beautiful but I like uh, me too Alberto <laughs> I also like beaches without pe Alberto you should come to the Philippines where my um, sister-in-law lives my gosh, you can walk all day on the beach and not even see another person. There's like no one there. Oh, the paradise then. Uh, it's 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 nice. It's not like, you know, it's not like crystal blue waters and perfect white sand. It's just a beach and the waves are pretty big and but there's nobody there. And there's beautiful mountains right behind it. But mountains without houses on them, just natural. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, I remember. I remember when I was a kid. Uh, when I were. Uh, when I was. Uh, I don't know. Uh, six or seven. Uh, I were in a in a beach in the north of Spain near uh, uh, Santander. And um, it was uh, it was a paradise. Uh, there were uh, three beaches in in a, in a little uh, place. But uh, when I uh, was uh, many years ago, there were many apartments, hotels, and tourists uh, in the in mm. the place. And yeah. it was a pity for me. Uh, perhaps it's uh, it was uh, marvelous for for the for the yeah. for increasing the the prices and for the right. people who who live there. But for me, it was a pity. Yeah, I I, I feel you. <laughs> I do. I understand what you mean totally. Uh, okay, let me talk to Mustafa. Mustafa, are you with me here? Mustafa, are you still here? Yeah, sorry, sorry, oh, I was okay. muted. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Mustafa, what do you like to do when you go to the beach? What activities do you like to do, or maybe you like to do nothing? Maybe you like to just read a book. Do you no, like to... I like <laughs> I like to collect seashells. Ah. I listen, yeah. I listen to the voice inside it. It just gives me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gives me a strange feeling. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I like to play volleyballs also when I have to fish, in because, but not in the ashore in in water. So we playing volleyballs in water. It's so nice. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, me too. I, I I like to play volleyball at the beach. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, okay, so you're talking about picking up um, shells and maybe sea glass, that colored green or blue glass. Yeah. Sometimes. Actually, okay. I I had money. I have money from beach. I collect them in my room, so I like them. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, I think you're. I think um, many people do that. Yeah. All right, that that kind of activity is called beach combing. And you walk along mm -hmm. the beach and just see what you can find, waiting for those Spanish doubloons to wash up <laughs> onto the beach. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. But usually you just find lots of shells. All right. Yeah. And uh, it in your 
in your country or your culture, do they say if you hold up the uh, the shell to your ear, you can hear the ocean? Yeah, I can hear yeah. the ocean. Right. I, do they? I think they say that everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a universal thing. Ah, okay. Beach combing, volleyball. I like to play volleyball at the beach too. Something about playing volleyball in the sand. I don't know. It's great. You can dive and you don't get hurt. You know. Yeah, actually, we play it in the water. It's oh, it's in the more water. Harder, but yeah, in the water. It's it's more harder, but it's funny. It's fun. Well, maybe it's, it's fun. funny, yeah, but it's <laughs> fun. maybe it's funny. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, sometimes it's fun. funny. It's really funny okay. sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, Selma, how about you? Are you a volleyball player? Well, actually, I'm not a good player, but I try to learn. So I always lose when I play volleyball in beach or elsewhere. Uh, uh huh. What else do you like to do on the beach? Well, actually, I like to do a lot of things. Like, uh, I like to lay out for the race, uh, ride on jet ski, um, ah. build some uh, coffins so that we can bury uh, one of uh, my cousins. <laughs> bury one of your cousins. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of cousins, <laughs> or you don't go to the beach often. <laughs> so you, you, a lot of cousins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know how uh, you feel about your cousins. Your got your male male cousins. <laughs> we we talked about that before. So is, <laughs> that, is, that, is that your revenge? You uh, <laughs> for bothering yeah. you at your house, you bury your cousins in the sand. <laughs> yes, especially when they are taking naps. So we ah. just. <laughs> Take them and put them on the coffin that we built uh, using sand. <laughs> Build a coffin <laughs> from sand? Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then leave them overnight. Leave them until the tide comes in. Oh. Uh, okay. Have you? Uh, can you swim, Selma? You can swim, right? Yes, I can swim. I like. Uh, swimming when I ride on jet ski, and then when we uh, ah. reach the middle of the sea, I jump in from uh, the jet ski to the deep water and. Uh, really? <laughs> yes, teacher. I love to swim far away from uh, the everyday people. Uh -huh. uh, when the when the water is clean, uh, clear and also uh, very deep. Okay. And also it's very uh, cold in the middle ah. of the sea, not like when uh, all the people beside the uh, seashore. Mm hmm Yeah, true. Have you, I have to ask, have you ever experienced on your jet ski, like uh, being thrown off the jet ski when you're going very fast, and suddenly <laughs> you have to turn or you stop and you go flying over the top into the water? Have you ever experienced that? To jump from the jet ski by uh, by myself, yes, but to be thrown on the jet ski, no. Because ah. I'm always accompanied with the, the lifeguard, so ah. I can, he cannot throw me because my dad will be so upset if he does something like that. <laughs> sad? <laughs> Maybe sad is not the word. Uh, okay. Yeah, because it hurts. I just want to, for any of you, I don't know if any of the rest of you have jet skied before. It is a lot of fun. It's very enjoyable activity. It's exciting. But when you get thrown off, when, if you suddenly have to stop or you avoid something and you go flying through the air, water is hard. <laughs> when you hit water going, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 kilometers an hour, it's hard. <laughs> it hurts. It's painful. It's not fun. But anyway... Hmm, okay. Vinny, uh, what's this you you have uh, pictures of here? What are you showing us here? I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't open the first one, the first link you you gave me. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, 
it gave me a redirect, but I can see the second one. Uh, the second one is actually uh, Cape Reina. It's also in New Zealand. Um, ah, okay. But it's not, it's not, I have been to this as well, but it's not the, the that one that I described to you. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, I'm trying to find, oh, right. Okay, uh, uh, this is a, actually the picture that uh, Vinny's link, the journey to a new beginning link, this is a perfect oh. example of what we call a cape in English. Perfect example. Stretches out into the sea. Um, it's exactly what we call a cape. And inside, the cape is the land, and then the inside, the water is the bay. Yeah, right. Uh, let's uh, you're gonna have to do some world travel. Go to Turkey and New Zealand and <laughs> India. Yeah, uh, highly recommend. Highly oh, I, recommend. I sent it again. Uh, the link. Uh huh. Okay. Checking it out now. Ah, okay. Ooh, the people look so tiny. Yeah, it, you can't really tell how big it is, but then you see the people on the, and they look like puny, like yeah. ants, or smaller than ants. <laughs> hmm. it, interesting. So, Vinny, what do you like to do when you go to the beach? What are your beach activities? Do you... Uh. Actually, uh, I like to swim and also kayaking. And you uh, were talking about the when the water gets hard because of the jet ski, and yeah. there is also a banana boat. Do you know? Oh yeah, I live in the Philippines. Yeah, I believe me, I know. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, it's awesome. Many here. Yeah, so it's very nice. And I uh, usually I usually play uh, either volleyball or football. Uh, with my, I don't know, friends, mm -hmm. and there's also sometimes like uh, festivals, and there is like a uh, surf championships or uh, dancing championship, not championship, I don't know, like competitions. Dance. Yeah, dance competition, competition, dance contest, competition. Yeah, and the surfing competitions, but I have never uh, taken part of the competitions. <laughs> and just watch, and uh, but I would love to be able to surf because it's really nice. And yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should try surfing. It's, it is fun. Yeah, yeah. When, just you learn how to stand up on the board, and that's it. And then you're surfing. That's it. It's just that first. Cr there's really one. It's not like I don't know. I mean, yeah, there are degrees. You get better and better and better. Obviously, those guys you see on TV are really good. When I mean, they're going through the tube, and yeah, obviously, those guys are awesome. But it's fun. As soon as you start to learn to, you can stand up on the board and ride one, one wave in. From there, you're, you're hooked. But it's frustrating if you're just starting, trying to get up on the board, for sure. And it's hard work. You have to be in reasonably good shape. Hard work to get out there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, do you guys ever eat at the beach? Um, Alberto, what, what do you like to eat at the beach? Uh, perhaps the, the best meal in the beach is uh, rice or something like that. Uh, to Join, no? <laughs> to join with the sun. <laughs> no, uh, when I was uh, in the beach, I, I eat uh, sandwiches uh, and no more. Uh, there are people who who uh, hate uh, uh, their uh, anything, but uh, I think the the most the, the most comfortable uh, comfortable uh, thing you you can eat uh, there is a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Simply and, and fast. Yeah. Some people like to barbecue at the beach. Um, yeah. Do you uh, have you ever been at the beach during a storm, Alberto? 
Well, I, I was uh, in a storm, but not uh, like in the movies. Uh, that <laughs> there, yeah. there were uh, a disaster there. No. A storm, uh, but I, I, I were, I were uh, in safe. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> what do you, what do you want to <laughs> say? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I just, uh, I was just interested if you've ever. Because you know, I I don't know. I I have been at at the beach during a typhoon, and it's the waves are enormous, and the uh, yeah. the ocean's a big nasty monster. <laughs> Not yeah, the beautiful yeah. queen that she. Uh, I don't know. It's yeah, the ocean is an impressive the, place to be. In a storm. Yeah, and the color the color of the of the sea change uh, mm. to, to gray or yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty to to see the the power of the nature, and mm. it's a uh, it's uh, pretty for this, not for <laughs> for fishing or for for swimming there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was also wondering if anybody has ever experienced had a bad experience at the beach, like uh, a, mm, a storm, or perhaps. Uh, Something simple like losing stuff in the water or uh, jellyfish, which is not fun, really. You get stung by a jellyfish. Uh, Anne, have you ever experienced anything bad at the beach? Anything? Uh... Yeah, uh, when I was at school, uh, I went to the beach with my school boys, uh, and uh, some uh, unknown men stolen our things, our clothes, our bags with our money, and even our shoes. We wow. came back home without shoes, without money, and was very <laughs> upset. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, but it was uh, educa uh, education for us. Uh, hmm. I, uh, now I don't uh, leave my uh, clothes, my, uh, some expensive things uh, without uh, some person. Yeah. Who look at this? Yeah. I I know what you mean, and I I. <coughs> I also learned my lesson, but I'm 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 a stupid lesson learner. <laughs> I'm an idiot. One time, because I didn't want to just leave my money, you know, sitting in my shoe, or I, you know, exactly. I was worried about theft, so. I took my room key and my I put it in my wallet and then I buried my wallet in the sand. Boy, was that a stupid move? Because I could never found it. I never <laughs> found it again. <laughs> what a dummy I am! Yeah, I couldn't figure out where it was because obviously the tide. I was there for a couple hours and I was probably swimming for at least an hour. And the tide moves, so the position of where the sand is, it. What? Where did I put it? Anyway, very stupid, very stupid of me. Uh, Mustafa, have have you ever had a uh, bad experience at the beach? Yeah. Yeah. What what happened? Yeah. Uh, some at the beginning, um, I'm not good swimmer, so uh -huh. two times I sank and my dad saved me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not that's really bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One time, uh, in some fish there are, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a hedgehog. Hedgehog. Okay, I will type it. A type of fish. Uh, not e not exactly fish. Hedgehog. Yeah. So. I thought that's a mammal, a land animal. Yeah, but there are a kind of it in beach, and huh? it's so hard okay. if you just if you just put your leg on it because you need to go to the hospital. Uh, really? Yeah, it's so hard. It's so hot. It's it's poisonous then. Uh no, it's just have uh, noodles and they will just enter in your leg and your foot and it's so. It's it's uh, not nice. It's unpleasant. It's not nice. Okay, it has needles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, be careful. It sounded like you said it has noodles. <laughs> yeah, <it's in> noodles. 
Ow! It hit me with a noodle. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which is just kind of funny. Um, actually, we have a stupid uh, English expression. Uh, I'll whip you with a wet noodle. Meaning, when we're joking that we're going to punish someone, yes, I'm going to give you 50 lashes with a wet noodle. Yeah, it's a yeah. joke. Not not real punishment. I know. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, okay, so... All right, so you almost... You actually almost drowned? Uh, yeah, actually, I don't, like, go to peace, usually, because I have this two memories. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just... When I go, just like to... to watch the sea, eat ice cream. It's... It's the most thing I enjoy, and collect shells. <laughs> okay. Well, nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay. Uh, Selma, how, how about you? Do, you? do you ever have a, a bad beach experience? Well, uh, actually, whenever we go with uh, our relatives, we always have a bad experience because <laughs> we, always <laughs> we always fight. Uh, with people about the place where we put the uh, parasol. Is it the right teacher? Huh? Hang on. <laughs> My daughter's having a giant fit. <laughs> okay. Okay, there she goes. Mother's gutter, finally. Okay, anyway, all right, that's taken care of. Uh, okay, so you fight with your family or you fight with strangers? No, we fight with uh, strangers, people who also are there in the beach. So, uh, <laughs> really? Of the, yes. Uh, we have, when we bring our parasol and whenever we put it uh, in certain place, people are always... Uh, yelling and screaming, telling us do not put it in front of our faces. We are watching our uh, kids, so we need to move all. Uh, we need to move so that we can find a uh, empty place, so people won't co complain about. Uh, really. About, yes, about the place of the parasol, and hmm. sometimes we <laughs> we. Uh, bury the uh, watermelon, watermelon, so ah. it gets colder, and whenever we try to to find this place, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we never find that watermelon, we oh. never see that watermelon again. Yeah, the, the crabs come and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually because we forgot the place where we uh, yeah. burn. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I just think that crabs enjoy watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watermelon. Now we're uh, talking to Alberto about beach food. Watermelon, good beach food. Actually, we uh, used to take a watermelon to the beach as well. Of course, we probably did something that you don't do, Selma. We would drill a hole in the watermelon and pour vodka into the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. Anyway, and everybody thinks that you're just having watermelon, but actually you're having vodka. <laughs> you're having <laughs> vodka melon. <laughs> and it's delicious. Okay. Uh, Vinny, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Mustafa, I think what you're talking about, and Anne put a link in there, I think what you're talking about are sea urchins. This, they're with yeah. the spines. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sea urchins, okay. Yeah, all right. A land animal, there's a hedgehog or porcupine, which, mm. believe me, you don't want to mess with either. <laughs> I had a dog, which loved to... Uh, stupid dog. He would love to uh, attack porcupines. And so he would get the needles stuck in his nose. <laughs> and really, no fun to pull out because they're barbed. They have a hook. Yeah. What happens is their straight needle, 
well, actually, they have a hook, and it fills up with air, so it gets stuck there. You have to... Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, Vinny, what do you like to eat at the beach? Do you like watermelon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watermelon is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think in New Zealand, they usually eat uh, fish and chips. Well, but in Brazil, uh, we usually uh, eat fish as well, and uh, there are some kinds of uh, desserts. I I think I or we need to post a link <laughs> because I don't know how <laughs> to explain it. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it's called. Uh, I actually I think it's. I I don't know where where it's from, but it's in uh, the original name is Spanish, so it's something like churros. Or in Portuguese, churros, and I will post a link. Churros. And then you can see, yeah, and then it's like, uh, wait a minute. Okay. Churros. Is this made with? Is it made with bananas by any chance? No, but you can. I think you can eat with uh, bananas if you want. Okay. I think I'll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. And there is also crepes. It's another one. Mm. I will also f I find a link. <laughs> okay. And then... mm. Yeah, I love fresh seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, when I lived in Vermont... Oh, Farouk is gone. When I lived in Vermont, I would... Once or twice a year, I would drive about maybe... 200, 250 miles and go to the main coast just to buy lobster because you could get Maine lobster very cheap if you get it right off the boats. Very cheap. Just absolutely make a pig of myself eating lobster. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, I missed that. Oh, okay. Ah. Vinny, I keep getting redirect notices. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm finding another link. <laughs> ah, I think uh, I think uh, Anne's got you covered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I think she put a. Uh, yeah, I did. It, I did. Eight million different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Ah, so these things. Okay, I I know yeah. I know this. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh my and gosh. Well, I trying to find crabs. Uh, I guess I guess no, I guess they have churros. Where did you have churros, Anne? Um, I ate it in Canary Islands and in Spain. Ah, and Canary we put it to hot chocolate. Oh, it was so ah, <laughs> like chocolate sauce, hot chocolate sauce. Uh, we put these churros to uh, cap this chocolate. Ah, and okay. eat it. Very mm -hmm. delicious. And then. And then you you don't have uh, churros in in Russia or in Ukraine. No, no, no. We don't only have only in Canada. Only in Spain. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. In Spain, there obviously. Are, there are many. Obviously yeah. in Brazil, and actually we I I've seen them here in the Philippines too, yeah. which is obviously used to be Spanish, so that makes sense. Um, of course, Brazil was Portuguese, but close enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And oh, gosh. I have another class to do, like right now or in one minute. Um, and, 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 damn you. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those look great. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I have to finish the class. This was a fun conversation. But uh, I need to finish the class and open another window, actually, to start another class. So thanks a lot, guys.